Hello in this video tutorial we will learn on drag and drop upload multiple file by using Ajax with jQuery by using PHP programming language without page refresh. For this things we will not use any HTML file control for upload multiple files. In this video tutorial we have jQuery event handlers which will be called based on any drag drop events. On dropping of image files, an Ajax method will be called for a execute PHP file for sending dropped images or files to the server. I have explained how to implement drag and drop multiple file upload using jQuery Ajax with PHP for send file to the server. Now I have started writing code, this is my simple index.php page. On this page I have used jQuery JavaScript library for uploading multiple files on drag and drop jQuery event. First I have create one division tag with attribute class name is equal to file drag area with text like a drop files here and close division tag. User will be drag and drop image or files on this division tag. First I have format this division tag, for this I have go to style part and set the width of file drag area set to 600 pixel and set the height to 400 pixel. After this I have set border width set to 2 pixel, border style set to dash and border color set to gray color of this division tag and I have also set the color of this division tag to gray also. After this I have the line height property to height of this division tag which is 400 pixel, text align property set to center and I have also set font size to 24 pixel. Now I have write one more class named file drag over, this class will be used if any drag over event occur then at the time this class will be used. In this class I have set two property. First property which color set to black color and set the border color to also black color. Now I have moved to HTML code part. Here I have again write one division tag with attribute it is equal to uploaded file. Under this division tag I will show the uploaded image to the server. Now I have moved to jQuery code, in this first I have write dollar with selector file drag area which is class name of division tag where user can drag and drop image with on event and with on event we can use more that one event, here I have used drag over event with one anonymous. Under this function I have write dollar this selector with add class method and under this method I have write file drag over. By using this code when any drag over event occur on file drag area division then at that time file drag over CSS class will be added into this division tag. After this I have again write dollar file drag area selector with on event and with on event I have used drag leave event with one anonymous function. When user drop file into this division tag then and he leave from this tag then at the time this drag leave event will occur and whichever code write under this event will execute. In this I have again write dollar with this selector with remove class method and under this I have write file drag over class name. By writing this code it will remove class name file drag over from file drag area division tag and it will come to his original looks. Now I have moved to drop file event. 
for this I have dollar with selector file drag area class with on event and with this event I have used drop event with one anonymous function. When user drop any files under this file drag area division tag then at the time this event will occur and files or image will upload under this event. Under this event first I have write event dot prevent default method. If this method is called, the default action of the event will not be triggered. After this I have write dollar with this selector with remove class with name file drag over class. When any file is drop under file drag area division then file drag over class will remove from this division tag. On the drop event, we are creating jQuery form data object with dropped image files. For creating new object from form data, for this I have write variable form data is equal to new form data. This way we can create new form data object. After this I want to get the list of files dropped under file drag area division for upload. For this I have write variable files list is equal to event.original event.data transfer dot files. By writing this code we can get the dropped file list under file drag area division tag. Now I want to add files into form data object, for this I have write for loop open and close bracket and between bracket I have write variable i is equal to 0 i less than file list dot length and i plus plus. By writing this code for loop will execute on how many files you have dropped. Suppose you have dropped two files then for loop will be executed two times. Under this loop I will append files to form data object. For this I have write form data object dot append method and under this I have write define name of appended file, here I want to append more than one file so I have write name of file which is file with array sign and dropped files data which we have store under files list variable and by using for loop we can append dropped file and append it to form data object with file name. You can access dropped file from form data object through this file name. Now all dropped files appended into form data object and this object will be sent to a PHP page to upload images via Ajax. Now I have moved to Ajax request and in this Ajax request first I have write URL to upload.php. Here URL is a string containing the URL to which the request is sent. Second I have set method to post method and this method to for the request. Third is which data you want to send to the server. Here I have want to send to form data object in which we have store the dropped images or files and it will be sent to the server. Then after I have write content type to false, when sending data to the server, use this content type. After this I have set cache to false and if set to false, it will force requested pages not to be cached by the browser. 
then after I have write process data to false and by default, data passed into the data option as an object will be processed and transformed into a query string, fitting to the default content type. Lastly I have write success callback function, a function to be called if the request succeeds. If drop file successfully uploaded then this function will be called and this function will receive data from the server and store into this data parameter. Suppose you have received upload image from server and you want the display under the division tag with attributed is equal to uploaded file, so I have write dollar with selector uploaded file dot html method and under this method I have write data which we have received from the server and uploaded image will be display on the web page without page refresh. Now I have moved to PHP code for upload multiple images, for this I have go to upload.php page and on this page first I have write one variable output is equal to blank. I will store all uploaded image information under this variable. After this I have write of statement with condition and in condition I have write set function with parameter dollar files array with file name zero. This function will check from drop multiple files, there is name set on first file or not. If not that means no Ajax request received and code will not execute. This is because suppose anyone directly ran this file then at that time an error will occur. After this I have write for each loop open and close bracket and between bracket I have write dollar files array with array name file with column name as keys values. By using this for each loop we can get all the dropped files name on by and it will upload it to the server. After this I have write of statement and under condition I have write move uploaded file function with two parameter one is the temporary name of file and second is the destination of file. This function is used for upload file to the server. In this function in first parameter I have write files array with name file and column name temporary name and with help of keys which define the index number of file and in second parameter I have write upload which is destination folder and with values from which we can get the name of files. This way we can define two parameter under this function. If this function successfully run then file will be uploaded to the server and suppose you want to display uploaded file on web page, so for this things I have write output variable with string concatenation operator equal to image tag with attribute source is equal to upload folder name with name of files which is get from values variable. In this output variable we can store all uploaded image information one by one. Now I want to display this information on front page to the user without page refresh. For this I have write echo statement with output variable.
This is my web development video tutorial on drag and drop upload multiple files to the server by using jQuery with Ajax with PHP programming language without page refresh. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, you can also comment on this video, I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.